Hello everyone, it is Jazz here. I was a little stumped on what I wanted to film for today, so I thought why not have some bookish fun and play a bookish YouTube game. So since I did the Merry Kiss Cliff Tag not too long ago, I thought I would go ahead and do the B Room Cliff Tag. So the idea is you put some names of book characters in a jar and you pick out three, you decide which one you want to be roommate with or just check off a cliff. So the rules are pretty simple. I've got five rounds in my jar, I believe, and let's get started with this. I'm a little worried because I put a lot of people I like in here that I really don't want to cliff, but let's go for it. Round number one. Let's pick these names. It's so hard for me not to accidentally peek when I do this. I have Meg Murray from A Wrinkle in Time, Apple Core from War of the Flowers, and Jane from Jane Eyre. This is hard because I love all these peeps and I don't want to clip them. I'm going to be Jane Eyre because she's really smart and awesome and she usually makes right choices even if it's hard so that's super cool. I'm going to room with Meg Murray because I feel like we're kindred spirits and we both have that like hey I really don't fit in and we probably could both use a really cool friend and I also would like to hang out over at her house because she's got a big family and they all seem really cool and it would be fun. The only reason I'm going to cliff Applecore is because Applecore is a really cool, awesome little fairy and she can fly. Uh, so I think she would not die if I clipped her and that would all work out. Um, but I also wouldn't mind being Applecore just for the record because she's a really feisty little fairy and she's awesome. Round two. And ooh, blah, blah, blah. Eleanor from Eleanor and Park. Alexa from the Parasol Protectorate series. And Door from Neverwhere. I'm going to be Door because she can open doorways to anywhere because that's hence her name and that's a really cool power and I think I would want that and also I really like her character she just seems like chill and I wish I was as chill as Dor. I'm gonna roommate with Eleanor because I feel like I want to be the big sister she never had and just give her like a big hug and tell her everything is gonna be okay and I love Alexia and I don't want to clip her but the thing is, I really do think her werewolf significant other would probably save her if I clipped her. So she would probably definitely survive. And even if something crazy did happen, it's the steampunk world. Maybe she could become a cyborg and totally survive. I don't know. I'm not clipping her. Round of three. Whoopsie. I'm slippery. We have Elaine from The Graduate, Clary from The Mortal Instruments, and Storm from X-Men. Okay, this one's a little easier because I'm sorry I got to cliff Elaine. It's not that I like hate Elaine or anything, but the idea of roaming with her does not really appeal to me because I just don't think me and Elaine are like the right fit for roommatery. And I don't want to be her because the idea of my mother being Mrs. Robinson makes my skin crawl. So no, you clipped Elaine, sorry. I would go ahead and be Storm because awesome X-Men superpowers who can say no. And I look the most like Storm and I would really like to have Storm's hair. So I'm going to go ahead and be Storm because, yeah, yeah, who doesn't want to control the weather and be one of the X-Men, right? And I will room with Clary. She's artistic. I'm artistic. I think we would get along really well. And she could maybe teach me some shadow hunting skills. So that would be kind of cool. Round number four. This is fun. Okay. We have Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games, Princess Buttercup from The Princess Bride, and 
and Daisy from The Great Gatsby. I'm clipping Daisy, y'all, because she's not a very nice person, and she's really super shallow, and I just don't really like her as much as I love The Great Gatsby book. I don't really like Daisy, so we gonna clip her. I'm gonna be Katniss, because yet again, I feel like I look the most like Katniss, because in the book, she's a mixed race person like me, and I think we look alike in that respect. But also, I wouldn't mind her survival skills and her archery abilities, and not really in to going into the Hunger Games, but that's kind of the way of being Katniss. So, kind of stuck with that. That kind of stinks, but you know, what are you gonna do? So, I guess that means I'm remaining with Princess Buttercup. Uh, which could be fun because she knows a lot of cool swashbuckling people but it also might be a little interesting because I feel like in the book she's not the smartest cookie in the jar <laughs> um, so maybe I could like help her along and keep her together also the princess bride is kind of a book full of male characters except for her so she needs a good friend to hang out with that's a chick I think so it might work out she could teach me how to ride horses that would be fun we only got three more names in here I have a feeling I'm not gonna want to clip any of these people but you know whatevs I have Anne from Anne of Green Gables Bella from Twilight and Gwen from Spider Gwen. This is tough because I don't want to cliff any of these people. Why did I put so many people in here that I like? Even though I've only read volume zero of Spider Gwen, I think Spider Gwen is like the bomb. Like I want to be her so bad. She just like kicks butt and she's a musician and she's got her wacky sarcastic Cuba and spider like powers and I'm like yes. Although I did take a personality test to see what fictional heroine I would be and I did get Anne. I think it would be better if we broomed together. I think as much as I love Anne, we have different life goals and I think that's okay and I would rather be her roommate. Plus she roommates with a lot of people in those books and she's an excellent roommate except she really likes to have cats and I'm allergic so we might have to discuss that me and Anne. I actually really like Bella. I know a lot of people don't like Bella and it sort of hurts my heart. I think I am one of the few people in the world that actually thinks she's kind of fun. Uh, I like her sense of humor and she has kind of a different brain and I have kind of a different brain and I think we would get along pretty well. But I guess I'll have to go in this case and clip her but it's okay because if she is in vampire form by then, I don't know. I think I could clip her and she would totally survive and I would be okay with that and then after I clipped her and she survived me and her and Alice could go shopping or something uh, oh wait me and Bella hate shopping um, well you know Alice could buy us some online clothes and me and Bella could chill and just hang out while she's buying us clothes. So that was the B room cliff tag. I feel like most of those rounds I didn't actually cliff anyone. Like I found the loophole <laughs> in there. That's okay because it's a fictional scenario anyway. Am I right? I'm gonna leave the links to a couple people that I want to tag for this little game and I will also go ahead and tag anybody that hasn't do done this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so thank you for watching. I will see you on Sunday. Bye!